Hello. In this video, we're going to use song mode and have a look at the mixer and effects in patterning. In our previous videos, we built up um, a couple of different patterns from very minimal to a little bit busy. And now I'm going to show you what to do with those patterns. Also, another thing is that I had a very, I had the original color scheme of patterning too, but if you press colors down here on the file page, you can change the color scheme to suit the user. So I've ch chosen this one because it's easier to see what is going on. So in s when we go, here are our patterns, and our patterns transcend, trans one to the song mode. Now these are our different patterns, I can tap on them. That's our first one. That's our second one. That's our third one. And that's our fourth one. We can chain these up in this mode down here and build a song out of them. So we see that A is already here. We've just hit, you can either hit it here or here. Put, sorry, let's move that up. Timeline active. So we see that A is already there. We just add pattern and it's told us to have B. B2 in fact, let's have B. Add another pattern. Let's have B1. Then let's have B2, and then we can drag this pattern out to as long as we need. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six bars. Let's have eight bars of that. And this is a, a great way that patterning allows you to build a song. And then I have one bar of B1, and then we'll hit loop. And now, if we press play, it plays our patterns in an order. As this is playing, I'm going to show you the mixer mode. So we're going to hit mixer here. And just click that off for a second. So the mixer is where we sort the levels and treat the sound for each part of our kit. I'll show you for it. For instance, if we hit play. We can hit solo just to listen to something on its own. And reverb, we can add this reverb onto this to give it space. We can also add some delay, which is like an echo. I just want to show you the effect section as well at this point. So if we hit solo on the snare, we just hear the snare on its own. And if we go to the effect section, which is just up here, we see that this is our delay effects. And it's really good for seeing the different delay patterns by hitting them here. And you get familiar with um, different note names and how they might sound as a delay. So a dotted note here Sounds quite good with a snare. The feedback is how much it echoes. And this is like an EQ. And our reverb, we can make a bigger reverb by just so now it's echoing more like it's in a hall. We'll go back to our mixer and we'll unsolo the snare. So 
So once song mode is just going, we can use our mixer to perform, taking things in and out by the mute buttons down here. They silence some of it. Solo put stuff on its own. And we've got a delay and reverb masters here. Have a go in song mode to chain up your different patterns and then have a mess around in you with your mixer and your delay effects.